Hello everybody and welcome to Tiger Tales, a place you'll find stories and fan fictions written and read to you by your host, me, Ty Tiger. Today we're diving back into Power Rangers Universe 91, the mirror universe to Power Rangers Universe 19, which is not only a fictional universe full of Power Rangers and Karma Riders, but it's also a podcast written and read to you guys by Cosby Dude 67 Again, that's where you'll find all his Power Rangers and Karma Rider storylines. This is Power Rangers Cyberforce V2, a alternate universe version of the original Power Rangers Cyberforce. So I highly recommend going and listening to Power Rangers Universe 19 podcast and listening to the original Cyberforce storyline. Some things may make a bit more sense after listening to that. But anyway, here we are with a big chapter. What I mean by big is not the length of the chapter but the quality of it this chapter will forever change things and i leave you with that mikhail is still around but he's been told that he can head home now that the universes are aligned and the side realm can be uh, slowly fix itself without any issues so let's dive in with power rangers cyber force v2 chapter 14 threats doubled and universes aligned mikhail stood there and hugged daisy Rose and Trixie. Then he hugged Timothy. Do it, man. Just ask her out. Mikhail whispered in his ear. Okay, thanks. Timothy whispered back. Then Mikhail turned to Derek. Hey, just because you did bad things, does that make you a bad guy? Just remember that, Mikhail told him. Thank you, man. That means a lot. Derek nodded. Then they hugged. Then Mikhail turned to Ace. Hey, leader to leader. You're doing a great job, Mikhail told him. Cheers. (laughs) <laughs> that means a lot coming from a Red Ranger, Ace replied. Then they hugged, then Mikhail turned to Haley and handed her a piece of paper. Oh, what's this? Haley asked. You said you've never thought about a Yellow Ranger, and you have seven. Well, if you need an eighth Ranger, maybe she'll come in handy, Mikhail told her. Oh, wow, thank you, Haley cheered. Then he hugged Haley, then Haley pressed a button, and a portal opened. But unlike the portal that sucked up and spat out Mikhail beforehand, this one was smooth and calm and relaxing. Mikhail and Midori walked through it, and the portal closed behind them. Haley then turned back to her computer. Okay guys, here we have a massive amount of energy being stored. It's in the centre of this quarry, right outside Blessington, Haley told the Six Rangers. Let's go find out what this is. If Doc H is back, Then we have to wipe her out, good and proper, Ace told his team. Derek looked at him. It would be an honour to follow you, Derek told him. Thanks, man. This time, we'll do this as a team, Ace told the Vios trio. Agreed, Trixie said with a small grin. Then the six rangers hit their communicators and they teleported away. The six of them teleported into the quarry. There, they saw Dot H stood next to Stingnet. Is that Stingnet? Timothy asked. That would be correct. Pathetic life form. Stingnet replied. Ace swallowed hard. Then we'll just have to stop you, Ace growled. Oh, don't make me laugh. My uncle will destroy you, Dot H snapped. Uncle? Everyone called out in shock. Yes. Your villainous Dr. H is my niece. Stingnet told them. Then Dot H threw her hooded cloak off and revealed a beautiful woman underneath. Uh, guys, that's the princess of the cyber realm. That's Indigo, Haley told them through her communicator. That's right, Rangers. I'm going to rule over the cyber realm once it's all healed, Indigo sneered. That won't happen, Ace barked. Then he turned to his team. We were enemies once, but now we're a solid team. We tack head on and use our heads, Ace demanded. Lead the way, bro, Derek told him. It's morphing time, Ace called out. Scan DNA. Ace called out as he waved his hand over his morpher. The morpher started glowing silver. Cyber charge! Ace called out as he slammed his hand down on his morpher and in a flash of silver light, Ace was morphed into the silver Cyberforce Ranger. Scan DNA. Daisy called out as he waved her hand over her morpher. The morpher started glowing white. Cybercharge! Daisy called out as she slammed her hand down on her morpher and in a flash of white light, Daisy was morphed into the white Cyberforce Ranger. Scan DNA! Timothy called out as he waved his hand over his morpher. The morpher started glowing orange. Cybercharge! 
Timothy called out as he slammed his hand down on his morpher and a flash of orange light, Timothy was morphed into the orange Cyberforce Ranger. Scan DNA, Derek called out as he waved his hand over his morpher. And his morpher started to glow and glitch. Cybercharge, Derek called out as he slammed his hand on his morpher and a flash of glitchy light, he was morphed into the Virus 1 Ranger. Scan DNA, Rose called out as she waved her hand over her morpher and her morpher started to glitch. Cybercharge, she called out as she slammed her hand on her morpher and in a glitchy light she was morphed into the Virus 2 Ranger. Scan DNA, Trixie called out and waved her hand over her morpher and her morpher started to glitch. Cybercharge. She called out as she slammed her hand on her morpher, and in the glitchy light, she morphed into the Virus 3 Ranger. The 6th Rangers ran at Stingnet, who ran at the Rangers. With an almighty swing of his monstrous fist, he struck the Red Ranger, sending him flying back. Then the Virus 2 Ranger and the Orange Ranger swung for Stingnet, but he caught both their fists and pushed them back. Then with one swipe of his claw, he struck both Rangers down. At the same time, the White Ranger jumped up and threw several cards at him. They exploded on impact, but Stingnet was unscathed. The Virus 3 Ranger came in with her virus claws and slashed Stingnet several times. Then Stingnet caught her by the arm and headbutted her. Then he lifted her up and threw her across the plain. She crashed on the rocky ground. The Virus 1 Ranger rolled in and blasted Stingnet with his Virus Stinger. Stingnet deflected the shots, then struck the Virus 1 Ranger, then he grabbed the Virus Ranger and pulled him in close. I made you, Rangers. You three belong to me. Stingnet roared. Let go of him! The Silver Ranger barked and slashed Stingnet's arm with his cyber hatchets. Stingnet let go of the Virus 1 Ranger and swung for the Silver Ranger, but the Orange Ranger landed between them and blocked the attack with his incoming shield. Then the Virus 2 Ranger landed behind the mighty villain and struck him with her Virus Scythe multiple times. Stingnet grabbed the Scythe and yanked it out of her hands before kicking her away. Haley, we're getting trashed out here, the White Ranger barked in, into our communicator. Give me two minutes, guys. I have something coming your way, Haley told them. We have to keep our stand, the Virus 1 Ranger snapped. Keep it up, guys. We've got to give Haley our two minutes, the Silver Ranger demanded. The White Ranger jumped up high into the sky and floated there. She rained down her cyber deck cards on the Stingnet. The Virus 1 Ranger shot Stingnet with his Virus Stinger. Then the Virus 2 Ranger slid past Stingnet and slashed the back of his legs with her scythe. The cyber shield hit Stingnet in the chest and it bounced back and the Orange Ranger caught it. The Silver Ranger landed behind Stingnet and the Virus 3 Ranger landed in front of the monster. Both Rangers simultaneously slashed at Stingnet. Then Stingnet slammed his foot on the ground and sent a shockwave which knocked everyone back. Guys, it's ready. I need you to group up, Haley told them. The rangers all got to their feet and grouped up together. Then a new icon appeared on their morphers. What's this? The orange ranger asked. Guys, I made a weapon for you, but to activate it, it requires so much power, so all six of you have to activate it at once, and it will require you all to charge it, Haley told them. Okay, boss. Let's see what you got, the Silver Ranger replied. Then, all at the same time, they pressed the final strike icon. Download! Data Deleter! All six rangers called out. Then suddenly, a long cylinder cannon appeared before them. It was silver and gold. On each side, it had animal and insect engraved onto it. On one side was a gorilla, hammerhead shark, and a gecko. And on the other side was a wasp, a black widow spider, and a scorpion. Wow, Haley, this is incredible, the Virus 2 Ranger gasped. It's gorgeous, the Silver Ranger gasped. That won't stop me. Stingnet barked. Let's find out, the Orange Ranger cheered. Then the Virus Trio knelt down and carried the cannon on their shoulders. As the Cyber Force Trio held each side of the cannon and the Silver Ranger stood behind it and held onto the handle that was placed on the back. Then the front opened up and each Ranger charged it with Cyber Energy. Then it started to glow as it became fully charged. Data deleter? Fire! The Silver Ranger called out. Then he pushed the handle in and the cannon fired. The, a multicolored energy ball fired from the cannon and hit Stingnet dead on. There was a massive explosion. Stingnet stood there, lightning sparking off of him. He laughed a deep, dark chuckle as he fell back and exploded. Stingnet was defeated. Yes, we did it! The Orange Ranger cheered. 
Hang on, hang on. Something ain't right here. The virus one ranger chirped. Yeah, he seems too easy. What's going on? The silver ranger muttered. Then Indigo jumped down, walked up to the remains of Stingnet, which was nothing more than a pile of black and green glitching code. She placed her hands down and it became a board of coding and she collected it into her hands and picked up the ball. Oh, poor uncle. All defeated. To nothing but code. Indigo said with a needle cackle. The six rangers all stood there in shock as Indigo started laughing. In Universe 19. Well, I was going to try out the new portal machine and send Midori back to Universe 91, but my indicator just picked up a really strange energy signature, and I was hoping you guys could go check it out for me. Kelvia can stay with me, Haley told them. They all agreed, then the nine rangers teleported away. They entered the, a quarry to find absolutely nothing. Uh, Haley, there's nothing here, Izzy told her over the communicator. I hate to tell you this, but she's kind of right, Justin said. Guys, the energy shard is massive, like you're standing on top of it, Haley told them, rather confused. They walked around, all aimlessly, and rather puzzled. Then suddenly, a shimmer of light engulfed them. The sky became bright blue, bright green. The ground became a mirage of blues, reds, and purples. They looked around in awe, as they saw coding running through everything. It looks like the Cyber Realm, Violet muttered. Guys, look! Xander called out, pointing to six Power Rangers. In Universe 91. The Rangers all watched as Indigo all muttered something in a Cyber Realm coding language. Then the sky turned bright blue and green. Then a shimmer of light engulfed the entire place, turning everything blue, red and purple. It looked like they were standing on an ocean of coding. The Rangers watched in awe as their surroundings completely morphed around them. A surge of energy went through them, forcing them to demorph. Then they saw them, nine teenagers, all wearing morphers, the exactly same to theirs. And amongst them was Midori and Mikhail. Guys, Mikhail called them over, and the two teams joined up. Midori, Ace called out, and the Cyber Force team from Universe 91 hugged their teammate. Guys, this is the other team of Rangers I told you about, Mikhail told his Rangers. Nice to meet you guys, Timothy grinned. Then Ace clocked Justin, a flood of emotion and memories of his Justin took over for a split second. Are you okay? Justin asked him. Yeah, I'm good. Nice to meet you. I'm Ace, Cyber Force Silver, he introduced himself. Justin, Cyber Force Blue. Justin said as he shook Ace's hand. Then Ruthie pointed to something in the sky. Guys, who's that? She called out. Everyone looked up to see Indigo floating there. That's Indigo, the princess of the Cyber Realm, Trixie told the Universe 19 team. No, the princess is Violet, Fred Bart. We both are. Indigo's my sister, Violet muttered. What? Everyone gasped. I thought she perished, but she must have hid herself in Universe 91, Violet said in shock. Hello, dear sister, and welcome to our uncle's rebirth, Indigo screeched. But we just beat Stingnet, Derrick snapped. Oh, you fools. You've all fallen into my trap and given me everything I need, Indigo cackled. Please stop this, Violet called out. Why? The Cyber Realm is healing itself. When it's done, it will need its ruler fully restored. Indigo said, holding up the cybercode orb that she pulled from Stingnet remains. Suddenly, there was a flash of darkness, and there stood a figure that stood before them. All of them tried to morph, but all failed. I am Stingnet. The figure barked. Indigo landed next to Stingnet. Here you go, uncle. Be nice and strong now. Indigo chirped, then she rammed the orb into Stingnet's chest. His body absorbed it, and he started floating. Indigo, please, why are you doing this? Violet screamed. Well, you see, dear sister, when dear uncle here was defeated all those years ago, he was split into two halves. But in doing so, they also split the Cyber Realm into two as well. Well, of course, the natural order of the multiverse happens. The realm had to start healing itself. Now, because both Haley started tapping into the morphing grid, using the cyber realm to fuel their so-called power rangers, the portals started to open, as there were already a connection made. Then, the two versions of uncles started hearing each other's thoughts and started to communicate. They devised a plan of action, and of course, they needed things to be done outside of the cyber realm. They needed someone who could access both cyber and earth. So, 
We hatched our plan. It wasn't until that snapshot monster uh, disappeared and went to Universe 19 that we advised our positioning. I was hoping for the virus rangers to be on my side, but no matter. Now we witnessed the merging of both stingnets and the king of the cyber realm renewed. Indigo explained, then Stingnet's body formed into his final form. He dropped to the ground. He stood stronger than before, emanating more evil than he has ever done. Finally. Stingnet growled. Violet, please tell me she's yanking our chain. Fred asked. Violet did not respond. She stood there in complete shock. Wait, if we're in the cyber realm, why can't we morph? Mikhail asked. You're not in the Cyber Realm, you fool. This is mere just the entrance to it. Stingnet chuckled. Hang on, why have us fight Kovia then? Justin asked him. I needed his evil coding for this. Stingnet grinned, then he placed his hand on Indigo, and her skin shimmered with black coating, and then it morphed into a terrifying monster. Now we shall call you... Devindigo. Stingnet told her. Thank you, Uncle. The now reformed Devindigo cheered as she examined her new body. Stingnet then turned to the two team of rangers. Now, with our newfound freedom, I plan on ruling over both universes, with my niece helping me with Universe 91. Join us, become our royal guards, and maybe I can have both my nieces by my side. Stingnet offered. Everybody stood there in shock. Then Ace and Mikhail stood forward and dropped into their fighting stances. Not a chance, Mikhail barked. Over our dead bodies, Ace growled. A part of me was hoping for that. Now leave my realm, and we will be seeing you soon, Rangers. Stingnet barked. Then in a flash of light, both Power Ranger teams stood in their universes back into the quarry. Both teams teleported back to their bases, to find their Haley's already talking to each other. Then the Rangers filled both Haley's in on what happened. We would love to invite you guys to Universe 19, but looks like both our universes are now in deep trouble. Devindigo is stronger than before, and so is Stingnet. Both of them have access to the Cyber Ramp and Earth. Well, Earths. So who knows what sort of monsters they can make now, Universe 19 Haley said. I agree, we have to be in constant communication now with each other. We have an edge. We have access to the Cyber Realm as well. We have not one, but two parent teams. Your eight and mine, well, soon to be eight, thanks to Mikhail, Haley said from Universe 91. Then both teams from both universes prepared themselves for the hard coming times ahead. Universe 19 and Universe 91 would never be the same again. And there you have it guys, another chapter of Power Rangers Cyber Force V2. This is the end of the crossover, Mikhail's now been in for a good couple chapters, but this also changes things for Power Rangers Universe 91 and Power Rangers Universe 19 forever. This actually started off as a fan fiction of a fan fiction. This actually started off as me paying respect to my favourite story that Cosplay Dude's ever written. Well, favourite Power Rangers story that Cosplay Dude's ever written. This is my favourite story in Power Rangers Universe 19, the podcast. And I just absolutely love it from the fact that all the characters, the main set of Rangers, are either nods to older characters that have been in Power Rangers before, or they're his children. I just, I just love that. And, of course, we have the fact that not only did he allow me to do this, but now it's canon. And both universes are now linked. That, to me, is absolutely insane. That being said, we are the three Ranger Bros. Me and Cosplay Dude 637 are two of the three members. The third member being Mark the Red Cornish Ranger with his Nursery Comic Podcast. So make sure you go check out that. Cosplay Dude not only has Parish of the Universe 19, but he also has Sailor Moon E, Storytime Cosplay Dude 637, 
and a YouTube channel called Nostalgia Time, which he uploads all sorts of different stories, you might want to go check them out. And of course, there's me, with Tiger Tales and Tiger Tales The Lost Stories. Tiger Tales The Lost Stories is another YouTube channel where I upload and more videos of me giving you guys more stories, but they're all in the first person perspective. So subscribe to this one and The Lost Story channel. There's also our association Zuda Hero, the Balkans got a podcasting, give us a podcast surrounded by Parangers and other nerd stuff, so you might want to go check them out, they're a lot of fun. A big shout out to If You Give a Dad a Podcast, another podcast who's a big fan of the show and a big supporter. That being said, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I shall see you guys really soon.